know what else is crazy? Conjoined twins. They're just stuck together like there's super glue in there, you know? Super glue. It's like, you know, when you open a fresh bag of gummy bears and you pull one out and there's another one stuck to it, you're like, bonus bear. <laughs> hey, do you think conjoined twins that are joined at the head get a two for one discount on haircuts? <laughs> Well, if you think about it, there's less hair, and there's only two ears, <laughs> usually. Oh, but if they charge by the chair, then that's two chairs, and that's two hair. Oh, but then one can sit in the other one's lap, and then that's one, well, that would be one chair, and that's one hair. Cut. Oh, wait a minute, what if somebody comes in with one body and two heads, because then that would be, well, I mean, that's one chair, but then that's... Well, hang on, that's, two, that's more hair and that's two more ears. And furthermore, who gets to tell the barber what's new? <laughs> have to get back to you on that one. <laughs> so I may have a date this weekend. Oh, thank you. One table is excited for me. It's looking pretty good too because I just had my hedge clipper sharpened at the Home Depot. Well, see, because he first said he wouldn't go out with me because I didn't have the sharpest tools in the shed, so now I do. <laughs> I don't get asked out a lot. Oh, I think it's because I'm half Chinese. Which half, I don't know. I think it's from the waist down because I'm pretty good at ping pong. You gotta get out there and meet people. That, that's what you really gotta do. You gotta, you gotta get out and meet people. I mean, I've been doing that. I mean, I've, I mean, I went to the monthly mixer at the local monastery. <laughs> <laughs> the guy who opened the door, he said, "Can I buy you a goblet of wine and a wafer?" <laughs> okay, but he kept talking about some other chick named Mary. I'm like, how rude. <laughs> I met his boss, though, the big guy, the heck, geez, the monk is so highest. He wanted to take me back to his chamber of secrets. So I'm like, oh, cool, you know Harry Potter? <laughs> oh. Turns out just as Potter was Harry, so... There's your, your nasty joke right there. <laughs> I have friends. Thank you. I have friends. Yeah, we like to do stuff. We like to, you know, travel and stuff. So last year we saved up our money and we took a big trip. We went to Europe. We did. It was pretty exciting. But something happened to my best friend in Paris. She got felt up on the Paris subway. I know. I was like, oh my god. Maybe this is where I could meet someone. <laughs> Closest I got was being flashed in the Austrian train station. It was OK, but he just kind of looked like this thing here with a, wearing a little red raincoat with a teeny Vienna sausage poking out. <laughs> now don't get me wrong, I love a good Vienna sausage. <laughs> but that one wasn't for me. <laughs> so I laughed at him and then my mama, she scolded me for laughing at him. She's like, Heather, shame on you, you give him a compliment. I said, Mama, if he's running around flashing people with something the size of a Cheeto, he's probably already got a 
apartment complex. Because I'm talking about the average size Cheetos, not the occasional super sized ones with the sprouts. Because those ones are big. <laughs> 